What's up, Nengu people? I'll go by the name Phoenix Flame. I'm a music producer, and today I'm back with another tutorial. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to mix your beats, like make them sound uh, clean for your online stores and everything, even for streaming and stuff. So this is what I have so far. But before I play this, please subscribe and tell your friends, tell your grandma about me, tell everybody about me. Okay, let's get straight into it. Let's start. Let's start playing. Okay, but subscribe. I'm not playing with that. Please subscribe. This is what I have so far. <laughs> Okay, this is what you must always remember when you're mixing something. First, you want clarity. You want your stuff to knock, like have some punch in them. But these are the steps that you follow to get that. You, need, you must have, you must do some level management, left and right distribution, frequency distribution, and depth. Then do a little bit of level management again. All right, since we have that, I'm going to go step by step. I'm going to start with level management right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send everything to the mixer, then start with my level management.
Now we're done with the level management. So right now, what I'm going to jump into, I'm going to jump into frequency distribution. Okay, quick tip guys, when using an EQ, rather cut than boost, because when you're cutting, you're not creating problems. But the moment you start boosting stuff, now you're creating problems for yourself. Rather cut off whatever that you don't want from, from that particular instrument track or drum, whatever. Even your vocals, if you're dealing with vocals, if we're at vocals, you don't boost unless if you feel like, okay, I need some air, you need some presence in this type of frequency. Don't boost anything. If you're boosting, rather, don't boost more than 6 to 8K. Don't do that. So 6 dB, no, no, what I'm saying, don't boost more than 6 dBs or 8 dBs because some, uh, some instruments, for instance, if you try to boost, it gives it like a certain feel, like some harmonics and stuff. But with some, like especially with vocals, things like vocals uh, and woodwinds or brass tracks, sometimes you're just creating a mess. That's where you experience a lot of muddiness in your mix. So I think I'm done um, with this. EQing everything out. Uh, let's see. So right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump to left and right uh, distribution. 
So we go straight to panning. Now, you, if you're listening to this with your headphones or you're listening uh, through your pair of monitors, you can hear like things are separated right now. But this is all over the place. I think I'm going to reduce the reverb on the sample itself. I did uh, three steps. Now I'm going to go to step number four, which is uh, depth. Right? I had this cross beat. This is what it's doing to the sample. Then I had this delay. So this day from my preset uh, pack which is going to be part of the mercury pack uh loop pack it's going to be i think 30 dollars or 40 dollars i'm still deciding because i'm also going to give away a bonus pack which is my drum pack yeah i think 30 dollars will do anyway back to the tutorial um i added this delay um so in stereo uh shit uh doesn't show but yeah i just moved the time a little bit and then that's about it so um then this uh clap i added this delay same uh so that you can create like a sort of like uh chanting claps uh listen to this so that is perfect right now but uh, i think i'm gonna reduce it a little bit more four percent And I'm also going to reduce that a little bit. So for my kick, so that they can hit harder, what I like to do, I uh, saw this trick uh, from Busy Works. Shout out to him. Um, basically, you increase the volume. Then... Um, Where's the kick? You add a soft clipper. Then sounds like this now. It it hits hard. And it's not even going beyond that that uh 10 dBs. Like let's check how, how loud is the mix so far all right
Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, uh, snap. So right now for my Aero 8, I'm gonna add um let's see, let's try wave shaper first. Uh there's a certain preset that I, soft clip. Alright, let's try that one. I like that a lot so i'm just gonna add some fast distortion i like this preset here uh warmth but i only want like 10 percent of that five actually let's make it five it's mean right now so i think that's about it for this beat um And that's about it please subscribe i'm gonna do part two of this where i'm gonna have a where i'm gonna do like a song with vocals uh but i'm only gonna be focusing on the vocals so that uh on how you're gonna how to make them sit on the mix so that's about it please like and subscribe and tell your friends about me peace i'm signed i'm signing out